the bone. Bye. 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 Well, I've had the mullet on and off throughout the, my whole life. Since I was a young fella, I had a couple growing up. This one coming out of high school started about three years ago. It's just grown on me and it's staying. I'm an uh, apprentice uh, engineer fabricator, so I'm in steelwork doing a lot of welding. And yeah, so you've got to tie it up at the back, keep it out of machinery and uh, keep it from being burnt. When I first started, I wasn't doing that. And I'd, Every, every now and again I'd smell some burning hair and that wasn't, that wasn't very fun. When Mitchell uh, got his girlfriend and moved away and just uh, agree one to keep in contact with him and to keep, keep ourselves together. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a father-son thing. We've, um, we always check up on each other when we come back. Oh, how long's your hair? Is your hair looking good? Oh, you haven't been taking care of your hair, have you? Whenever I'm brushing or see it, I think, yeah, Dad's still on the same thing. It's a good, you know, connection between me and my dad. For sure, yeah. Controversial question, who has the better mullet? Oh, me. I won't argue me? that. I won't yeah, argue yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I did bring the clippers if you want to um, oh, clean up the back. In the 25 years of my life, I have never been to a professional barber. We'll, we'll get on the drink and we'll get nice and wobbly and then we'll cut each other's hair. You know, it's, sometimes it's really good, but we'll... we'll do it first Ace go and go, damn, that's excellent. <laughs> There's other times we might be a little bit late on the, how many drinks we've had and then wake up in the morning and go... Oh, hang on, I've got to fix that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sit back down, sit back down. That's, uh, we've got to fix that one. <laughs> Looking good. You know, got to, got to keep it detangled and... Oh, she's naughty. Nice and conditioned. Keep it, keep it curly and, and sweet and luscious. I guess you don't see many midwives with bullets, so I think it is a bit unusual in, in my line of work. It only gets a bit tricky if I have to go to theatre and I'm trying to put my hair up into the theatre hat and it sort of hangs out and escapes. <laughs> I have had some reactions from people at work, um, women's partners especially, because they're usually the ones with the mullets themselves and we, you know, mutual uh, appreciation. <laughs> So the maintenance is relatively easy. So I go to the hairdressers about every three weeks and basically just do the sides, a little bit off the top, but nothing at the back. There you go, thank you. I don't think the mullet stole is generally associated with females or older females. Um, I think it's more associated with young boys, men, teenagers, that type of demographic. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Oh my gosh, what do I think of the mullet? I love it. Look at it, it's magnificent. So Mullet Fest was nothing that was ever on my radar. Uh, the suggestion actually came from my wife, so she was the instigator to all of this. Why mullets? Why not? I mean, it's Australia's most iconic haircut. Just such a simple idea of bringing people together and I think the mullets really speak for themselves. The atmosphere here is electric. Everybody is just so happy. <laughs> We 
here to support Lisa and her amazing mullet. She's definitely going to win. That's a no-brainer. A rookie winner. Can we get a drum roll, please? Lisa Wright. Twenty twenty three best mullet of them all to Mitchell White. That's it for me. Oh boy. <laughs> Feels fantastic. I can't believe it. I'm over the moon. I'm ecstatic. I think the uh, the proof is in the pudding. I have the best mullet here. Sorry, Dad. 